okay friends welcome so in this video what i want to do is to add the link here to navigate the users create and then create a new user and also to add a link to edit the delete sorry to delete the user because for edit we are okay so let's start with this one i'm going to add right here so let's open the vs code and i'm going to open the index from the resources views admin users index and here let's cut this h1 and i'm going to add a div with class b flex and justify between okay and inside i'm going to paste the h1 and then i'm going to add the div with the class to be b4 for so the same we have here and then i'm going to add the link so plate link with the shref which is going to be the route admin users create and let's give it some classes so i'm going to say px uh, 4 and py 2 the bg is going to be indigo 500 and on hover is going to be bg indigo 700 and also let's say rounded and the text is going to be white the text white and that's it let's say new uh, user here and let's close now the link let's save this and let's see on the browser now yeah here is the new user if we click we navigate the users create okay now let's open the user controller and on the create method we need to return the view so let's say return the view which is going to be inside the admin users and here i'm going to create the create blade let's save and let's create now this so i'm going to save the edit as a create user so let's let's save this as the create blade click ok And let's say here new user on the h1 now the route is going to be admin users store we don't need the user here the method is going to be post so let's remove also this one and we are okay but here we need the username first name last name email and also the password so let's copy this and paste it here and this one is going to be for the name of password and the label is going to be password and also the password confirmation so, so password confirmation here And both of them is going to be type password. So let's say here and here to be type password like this. And in this one is going to be also the password confirmation label. Now let's save and let's see on the browser what we have. New user yeah default user we need to remove here refresh go to the new user and yeah we have the username first name last name email and password and password confirmation very good good now let's go to the user controller on the store method i'm going to create a new request so let's come here and let's say i'm going to zoom it for you artisan make request 
and it's not going to be update user request but store user request hit enter and let's go now to the registered user controller and i'm going to copy here what we have copy and paste on the store user request change this to be true okay so let's import here not like this but we need to import like this and also we need to import the user app model user class and we are okay let's save and on the user controller now we can say store user request and now just say user create and pass in here the request validated and then we need to return i'm going to remove the go method and just i'm going to copy this and paste it here to save some time instead of user updated we need to say user created here and let's save this and let's navigate on the browser now and refresh just some uh, random user okay test email.com i have the password say submit and user created and if i see now here is the user we have created test test we can update now let's go back and say new user here and if i say submit yeah we have error messages and now what we need is the add button to delete the user so for that we need to go inside the index and here we have the set for action okay and now what i'm going to do i'm going to cut this and add a div with a class to be base x2 and inside paste two links here and this one is going to be for the destroy user we have here the user and let's say delete instead of green is going to be red so let's say red here okay now the link by default is a get request and we need to add a delete request so if you go here and navigate to the link component as you can see we have here a confirmation if we if we want that confirmation and also methods so here we have method post we can add the data but what in our case i, I just want to add the method which is going to be dot media the method which is going to be delete like this and now let's navigate to the user controller and here on the destroy i'm going to use the route model binding to our sign user and first let's delete the user and then i'm going to also add a toss notification say user deleted and then just return back return back like this hit save and let's see if i refresh and here we are on the user we created earlier if i click delete user deleted and yeah now as we saw also we can add uh, confirmation so confirm and let's do that just copy that and navigate on the index 
and here also paste the confirm okay and here now I'm going to say delete the user and are you sure confirm button yes just yes here and no let's save and let's go and see now if I refresh let's delete this we have delete the user are you sure yes or no if I say no nothing happened if I say yes now the user is deleted okay friends that's it about this video I hope you enjoy now and see you in the next one if you like don't forget to subscribe to my channel and like the video all the best